Hey, my coworkers that. are constantly going out to eat for lunch. I try not to usually do to cost and health reasons, but they aren't. But they are always offering to pay or seeming super disappointed when I turn them down. While I appreciate their generosity, the guilt I'm saddled with after receiving a lot of free meals isn't exactly pleasant either, and I often can't afford to pay for a meal in return. How do I mitigate this situation? My wallet, conscience, and waistline are all on the line here, and that's from Treated in Tucky. That's good. I like that. Um, tell them to fucking... Who, why does somebody care so much about what you're eating all the time? You have to go... But they you feel guilty. They don't want to have go. to listen. They don't want to get free rides from their coworkers. That's uncomfortable. I get that. But they also don't want to fucking pay for bottomless apps at TGI Fridays every fucking day of their life. Okay, but what it sounds like to me is that idea of them like saying we'll pay. Come on, is that they see it as a very social, like team building thing, right? And like they don't want you to feel left out. They're trying to, like, make you feel included, whereas you're looking at, like, no, nah, I, I, I'm happy to hang out. I just don't want to go out to eat every day, which makes total sense to me. This sounds to me suspiciously like a free introductory offer. I feel like you're going to get there, enjoy some, like, bottomless French onion soup or something, and then at the end they think, Boy, wasn't this fun? We were, we were happy to pay this time, but I feel like we could really keep these good times going. If we could just get you to commit to six meals per month mm -hmm. and get on this timeshare at TG, this TGI Friday <laughs> timeshare with us, then uh, we think that this could really be the start of something big. Two weeks out of every year, this appetizer plate could be yours. This could be think your about it. plate. Um, the other 50 weeks, people are going to touch it. Yeah. And that's not great. I'll be honest. I don't love that part of the arrangement. Can you brown bag it every day, but have, make it look <laughs> special? Ooh, ooh, tell them, like, a, a sick family member made, like, uh, I, you know, my, my nanny made me. My nanny no, I can't say this. nanny. My nana made me, like, the sandwich that I feel so guilty. <laughs> my adult nanny. <laughs> my, <laughs> my adult, adult babysitter uh, made this for me. She's Mrs. very Poppins sick. Poppins would be really disappointed. That's going to work for. Sandwich. That's going to work for a week, Traff. That's not a long-term solution. Because after four months, you're like, yeah, nanny, my adult babysitter's still pretty sick, so I better... Well, no. Then you have to dress up as the babysitter and come into work and be like, oh, he doesn't want to go out to lunch with you. <laughs> Michael, I can't help but notice my special lunch remains uneaten here. <laughs> oh, man. Can you go to the... Okay, 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 okay. You go to the bathroom, you dress up as your adult nanny, Mrs. Uh -huh. Doubtfire, too. Uh huh. And then you carry a brown bag lunch in and put it on your desk and maybe loudly announce, Oh, I was so delighted to make this. I sure hope Michael enjoys it today. Lunch, lunch time for my little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that sweet piggy? I never seem to see him around. Have you ever noticed how you never see us in the same place at the same time? <laughs> well, I need to go shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go shit for five minutes. I had some bad Mexican food at that restaurant you're always trying to get Michael to go to. <laughs> You might expect me to leave at the front door. <laughs> I ate there once in 1987 and haven't stopped shitting since. Goodbye. I'm going I'm to go climb out the bathroom window. Have you guys ever noticed how Michael's adult nanny, Mrs. Stafford, too, seems to only enter and exit the building <laughs> via the men's bathroom? I just went in the men's bathroom and I just <laughs> saw her clothes lying on the ground. I think she shit herself out of her body. <laughs> Is this the start of Left Behind? Has Mrs. Um, Doubtfire 2 been raptured? Yeah. Oh, man. I think that'll work. Yep. I know we were joking, but now I'm, like, ruminating on it, and I think that'll actually be great.